Back live now, earlier today, Defense Force officials combed one area for illegals while another search was taking place in a shanty town off Milo Butler Highway. Now, social services officials were in the recently cleared away lot to give their assessments of the area, which will soon be leveled. Our Janaea Noel Ferguson was also there as residents expressed concern about their futures. Now, immigration officials spent the most part of the morning searching for any more Haitian migrants who would have come in in that sloop this morning. But our investigations brought us here to the Milo Butler Highway, where a shanty town had already been cleared off, and social services were making their assessments on the area. Now, according to our sources, it is believed that those Haitians that came fled to this shanty town. We also understand that suspected cases of the chikungunya virus may also be prevalent in the area. Now, Assistant Director of Social Services Wentworth Butler confirmed that this mission continues the government's plan to shut down shanty towns across the country. Offer some form of assistance to them, rental assistance, food assistance, etc., and even some assistance for their children. We have. Um, we went to several of the homes and we have noticed the condition, the state of the homes. We recognize that they, most, a lot of them are in a deplorable state. This resident who has been in the Bahamas for more than 30 years says if the law is destroyed, she will have nowhere to turn. No money, no work, no boyfriend, no mommy, no daddy, no family. So God help me. When they shut this down, what happens to you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's an estimated 80 homes on the lot, but it is unclear of how many persons reside there. Urban Renewal's Deborah Smith claims those who qualify will be assisted. Those persons who have documents, those persons who have some status to remain in the Bahamas, those are the persons that we will look at in terms of uh, approval of services. And anyone else? Anyone else, um, well, the services for Bahamian citizens. And so if you don't come under that particular um, qualification, then um, if you're not a Bahamian citizen, then really and truly we can only assist you on an emergency basis. But that's just a short-term type of assistance. The problem is so many people don't work in, especially for me. I work in one day, two days, not every day, but a big Monday. I, um, um, but I do, I, I do it in the yard, but not. Not professionally, exactly. Do you have a work permit? Do you have documents to say that you're able to yes, stay here? Yes, yes, ma'am. Do you pay rent in this area? Um, to say yeah, no. no. How many of the residents in this area say their future is uncertain? They're looking to the government to get whatever assistance they can. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.